start with what we were just talking about right before we started the recording and it's Amazon. And ultimately, um, as I just mentioned, Amazon is for some CBD businesses is seen as like the great or the golden goose. They want to get on there because they have so many businesses. However, when you talk about CBD products or products with cannabinoids in them, Amazon is not friendly to that. And I've seen workarounds where yeah. they, they put hemp seed oil, but they really mean CBD. Or if they're actually talking about hemp seed oil and it really is hemp seed oil, hemp seed oil has a, a tiny fraction of cannabinoids in it, of CBD or, or whatnot. It's not really the same product. So let's dive into Amazon and your experience there, Jim. Well, here's the product we sold. We sold 10,000 CBD vapor pens. Okay. It's an 800 milligram CBD pin, rechargeable, disposable. We were one of the only Amazon merchants selling legitimate quality CBD products. And the reviews showed that. The feedback showed that. Mm -hmm. The customers loved the products. When you look at Amazon, it is the holy grail of retail. That's right. how to sell products if you're a small business. That's the, that's the way. You know, they have a million and a half sellers. We jumped up to number 6,000 on that million and a half top 10 list oh, because wow. we were doing a lot. We were 1,000 to 1,500 units a month. And the reviews show the product works. The funny thing about Amazon is we couldn't sell a CBD vapor pen. We had to sell a hemp oil vitamin stick. <laughs> We changed the names a lot. Hemp, hemp oil vitamin stick. Ah. All right, I, my my first. So so I know about the changing of the uh, of the, the name, jargon yeah. And, yeah. and ultimately the the context of the verbiage. But when you when I think of a hemp oil vitamin stick, I do not think of a vaporizer. <laughs> well, customers go to Amazon and they type in CBD or hemp oil, and if you're paying for ads, your product's going to come up. So we did pay for ads. If you don't pay for ads, you're not going to sell a ton of products on Amazon. You're just not. You can sell thousands of products every month if you pay for the ads. Otherwise, you're going to sell a few hundred products a month. And Amazon has an algorithm and a script that they run to check every word you write. They have humans that look at your picture. And it's not a joke. It's You can get away with it for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years like we did but you're probably going to get caught. Right. 99% of what's Amazon, what's on Amazon is garbage. That's, you can see it. If you just look at it, it's, it's not CBD. Right. My, my guess, my guess. Well, so everything has like scripting bots and especially when you're on Amazon's platform, they're definitely reading it's everything legit you're writing. Script. Amazon wrote a program called the JIT script that finds out if you're legit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And my, my guess also is that a lot of these companies now, they're doing pixel mapping. So some sort of um, AI learning on the picture to determine what the pictures are, which are on all these major platforms. So my guess is that between the script of what you write and the pictures of what you're putting on there, Amazon's probably giving it some sort of ranking as far as um, like, does it need review or not? Because they're definitely not putting eyeballs, human eyeballs on every picture. So at some point, your product will be reviewed, especially if it's starting to sell more and more. Because my guess is with the writings, the pictures, and then depending on the engagement, you know, how many orders you're getting, stuff like that, that's probably ranking it up. If something is selling 10,000 units a month and maybe it's a, a six out of 10 on their review ranking, whatever that may be, they're probably going to be more likely to check it because they're like, hey, they're, they're selling 10,000 of these a month. We, I want to know what these are. You know, but if you're selling zero and you're at a 10 or six out of 10 review ranking, they don't care because nobody's buying it. That's just you my know, guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's their bat and their ball and they play the game really well. Yeah. But well, somehow they have a lot of bogus hemp oil products on there selling like crazy. You can see somebody has 500 reviews. That means they sold 5,000 products because 10% of Americans send a review. So you can see that the garbage is selling on Amazon. Right. And they're doing it by ultimately doing things like hemp seed vitamin stick, right? Because they can't say CBD oil, um, 
you know, they can't put anything like that. So they basically have to call it hemp seed and then something else, right? They As soon as yeah. you were the, use the word hemp, there is a red flag that goes off because you're now categorized as a hemp guy. Right, that, that makes total sense. And then your entire, uh, my guess is your, your entire third party vendor account is at risk. To, at we risk submitted 237 appeals. They take the products down and we appeal to get them back up. You said, sorry, I missed times. that. I missed that, Jim. You said you've had 237 product appeals with Amazon? That means we submitted emails to them 237 times. They take the products down and we put them back up. But we're done with it now, obviously. So you've been you've been officially shut down on Amazon? Yeah, for about six or seven months now. Officially never to be sell, selling on Amazon again. Right. And you you got up there pretty high as a ranker ranking system. So my guess is that Amazon was contributing a pretty significant amount of business to you. Then they just, uh, they pulled the rug out from under you. Yeah, we were getting up to $1,500, $1,800 a day in sales. Okay. And nice. only selling a $25 product. That's a lot of business. Wow. And then um, are, I, I'm, I haven't i have experienced the Amazon third-party selling system. Are you, uh, my guess is you're getting a lot of repeat orders from that. So some kind of consistent returns. Yeah, about 25 to 30% were repeat orders. Very cool. I, I had one woman in Virginia sending her military son vapor pens. And he was in he was in war. Yeah. And getting our vapor pens. Now, as with your experience, you've obviously done this quite a bit. Um, you mentioned that if you're not buying ads on Amazon, you're ultimately not being seen. And it's really the only way to sell. So my understanding is that means Amazon is double dipping when it comes to the sales, because not only are they getting a percentage of each one of your sales that you make, but then you also have to pay them for ads to get visibility to have the opportunity to sell your product. Oh, it's anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar a click. Okay. And then, but and then if you're paying a dollar a click and making $20 per sale after their 15% commission, it all works out, pay for the ads and do a lot of business, just like on Google. Facebook also, you got to figure out how to write a generic ad that doesn't say CBD in it. Right. And so ultimately, you are you start doing a pretty significant amount of volume, but you're really cutting your margins um, significantly as well. So I, I, I'll keep buying ads because we were converting at 38%, which is almost double of what a typical Amazon account converts their ad money at. 